five, four, three, two, one. Hello, I'm Tsunekazu Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Pokemon Cafe Mix was just released today. This game actually looks I hope you're all enjoying it. Today, I would like to tell you about a new project we have been working on. To begin, please take a look at this video. What could it be? Like I'm happy nowhere. to announce the first strategic team-based Pokemon battle game, Pokemon Unite. We have partnered with Tencent to develop this game, and I would like to invite Stephen Ma from Tencent hmm. to tell you more. This could be interesting. Stephen, it's all yours. Mr. Ishihara, thank you for the kind introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm Stephen Ma from Tencent. As a Pokemon fan myself, I'm really happy to be able to announce this project. The Unite in Pokemon Unite represents the gameplay concept of players coming together with a shared goal. Through our shared pursuit of innovative gameplay and quality, Tencent and the Pokemon Company have united with the goal of creating a new game that can be enjoyed by all. At Tencent Games, we are committed to our search for undiscovered potential in game development. And this also holds true in our partnership with the Pokemon Company. This is why we have assigned Timmy Studios, a team with 11 years of game development experience that has worked on many hit titles, to this project. I am confident that this collaboration between Timmy Studios and the Pokemon Company is sure to spark new creativity and bring about all new gameplay experiences that will surprise and delight all players. Thank you. Yeah, I want to see more of the gameplay. Steven, like, see thank you very much. Okay. The development concept behind Pokemon Unite was to create a cooperative Pokemon game that this anyone could pick like up and enjoy immediately, but also has a lot of depth to be played over and over again. Tencent Games' Timmy Studios specializes in team-based battle games, and we have fused that with Pokemon to create an all-new experience in Pokemon Unite. Next, I would like to have the producer of Pokemon Unite, Mr. Hoshino, show more of the game to you all. Yes, I want to see more of the game. I'm Masaaki Hoshino from the Pokemon Company, producer of Pokemon Unite. Allow me to go over some of the basics. The biggest defining trait of the game is its real-time team battles, featuring the most Pokemon seen in a single battle yet, oh with two gosh, teams dude. of five Pokemon each. Players team up and cooperate together to defeat the opposing team. This is the layout of the battle arena. Your team's side is on the left, while your opponent's side Wait. is on the right. Oh, this is not... MMO. On each this team's like... side, there are a total of five goals, or scoring areas. Catch wild Pokémon that inhabit the field to score points. Oh, this is like, um... Uh, I cannot think the of what... The goal of the game the is genre. to score more points than your opponents within the time limit. The oh, Pokémon you control begins each battle at level one. Oh my gosh, you control By defeating Pokemon. wild Pokémon in the field, your Pokemon will increase in level and even this evolve. This is literally all I've ever wanted. As well as learn new moves. You get to choose which moves your Pokemon learns as it levels up. This, this is Focus exactly what I wanted out of the game. Or choose to optimize for I want to control the Pokemon and I want to have their moves as active. Even with the same Pokemon, you I've can choose wanted. how you want to battle. Once you reach a high enough level, you can unlock moves unique to this yeah, game I would called play this. Unite this actually moves. Looks sick. 
some can deal a lot of damage to multiple opponents at once. Each Pokémon has a different Unite move with powerful effects. Choosing when to use your Unite move and attempting to read when the opponent will use theirs is part of the excitement of the match. Use tactics like surrounding opponents that approach your base or sneaking around back to the opponent's side's goal to score while a teammate has the opponent's attention. Teamwork is very important in order to defeat your opponents. They still didn't fix To make it easier for players to enjoy battling with others in Pokémon Unite, we will be releasing it as a free-to-start game for Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. Oh, it's also on the Switch. I thought the it was game will also game. support cross-platform play. That's actually sick. I'm, I hope I'm you down will look for forward to the release of Pokémon Unite. Since this is the first strategic team-based Pokémon battle game, I imagine some of you may be wondering how the game will actually play. Well, I'd like to show you some gameplay with 10 players. Here is the group who will be joining my team. こんばんは、松丸亮子です。ポケモンの新ゲームが遊べるということで、僕は今日は来ています。I I'm going to focus on playing, so I'll turn it over to our two commentators. I'm Corey and I'll be your commentator for today's match. And I have the producer of the game, Mr. Hoshino, here too, to provide commentary. Thanks, I'm happy to join you. I keep meaning to get With that, let's get the match started. They're actually sick. I keep forgetting to Now our players are choosing their Pokemon. I wonder... Well, the roster looks really good. This might just be because it's like a presentation version. While there are no type advantages in Pokémon Unite, each Pokémon has different traits oh. and abilities, so your choice is important. Hmm. Both teams have locked in their Pokémon picks. The battle begins as all of the Pokémon rush out from the starting area. Oh my god, so look at Squirtle Waddle around. Okay, the aware. I'm like watching with Pokemon in it. It's like that team is like all general. As we can so see, see, our players are doing. catching lots of wild Pokemon. So I wonder. Well, and we have our first the score of the game. Because you're catching Pokemon to get points. But it looks like there's like a roster you select. I don't know if it expands. Mr. Ishihara Squirtle has evolved into a War Turtle. Oh snap. His HP is running very low. If you retreat to a goal on your side, you can recover your HP. Yeah, punch him. Talonflame has its sights on Pikachu. Dude. Pikachu <laughs> couldn't get away, and Talonflame got the KO. Pikachu, I got Pikachu. Oof, good fight. Even if your Pokemon is knocked out, it will recover after a brief amount of time. Snorlax is trying to score a goal, but the opposing team's Clefable and Talonflame are trying to put a stop to it. Bird is if you attacked while trying to score, you will be interrupted. Charmeleon is in trouble, being chased down by three opponents. And here comes Mr. Ishihara's War Turtle with a Skull Bash and Hydro Pump combo. What an amazing play. They expertly surrounded their opponents. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, this looks. This actually looks super fun. I'm not gonna lie. And with that score, the goal was destroyed. With the goal destroyed, the opponents have fewer healing spots. And here comes a unite move. Talonflame is knocked out, and Charizard unleashes a fire blast. <laughs> Oh We're approaching God. the end of the match with Team Ishihara in the lead. All points scored in the final two minutes are doubled. There's no telling who will end up winning this match. Oh. Matsumaru has a lot of points saved up, and he's sending his Charizard in for a goal. And he scores a massive score for the team. This might decide the match. 
As we near the end of the match, we see Mr. Ishihara's team approaching the goal on the opponent's side. And here is Snorlax with a Unite move and Blastoise unleashing a Unite move of its own there, overwhelming that Venusaur. Only 10 seconds left on the clock now. Can Team Ishihara do it? I feel like the game that like you could constantly update like it, like especially in mobile games they add like, new game. stuff all the time. A game like this so it could probably Mr. add Ishihara's a lot more full time to the roster. Like people release other months to play. I feel like there's a lot of room. I didn't know who was going like, to win like, right game, up like, until the very end. Time. What a thrilling like battle. The game could be like a lot bigger. As you can see, it took a lot of teamwork to emerge victorious. Thanks to all of our players and commentators today. I wonder when it comes out. We are hard at work on Pokemon Unite to make it a game that we hope they didn't all even have a rating yet, so it's probably not that true, but we look forward to sharing more details in the future about when we plan to launch the game. Thank oh, you again for tuning yet. in today. That's not that surprising. Everything's up in the air right now. Sick. Okay, honestly, that I, that looked really fun. Like, I'm interested in getting this. I think, like, I mean, I explained before that, like, the concept of being able to control the Pokemon yourself, um, like, you still have a trainer that is, like, I guess, owns the Pokemon that are playing in the match. But, like, you really are just, like, playing as the Pokemon themselves. And, like, you're selecting moves, but it's more, like, action-oriented. So, like, you do the move, but it's, like, actually, like, an animation on the screen that you control. Like, I, that, I've always wanted that in a Pokemon game. I've wanted some spinoff where, where you play as the Pokemon themselves. So that looks, that immediately captures my interest. And I actually, even though I usually am very much a solo gamer, I usually like playing by myself over with other people. Um, this would be super, super fun to get some friends together to team up and just like play matches online and stuff. Um, this could be really fun. Like, I'm actually excited for this. Um, I don't know when it comes out. I'll probably get it when it does. Um, I'm excited to see more, too, that they announce as time goes on. Um, see what other features are there. Especially since, like, you know, they were only showing a little bit to show us, like, what the gameplay's like. But I feel like, you know, there's room to have other battle arenas, not just that default one they were in. I'm sure there, like, are other stages you can battle on so that it kind of switches up every time. It could be like bigger or smaller, the goal to be in different places, things like that. Maybe like depending on um, the arena, there are different hazards. Like maybe there's a fire arena where like there are like lava pits or flaming something that can hurt you. I don't know. There's just like so much possibility for what they could do. Um, and they could definitely, you know, expand the roster as they go on. Um, as I said, it would be so easy for this game to just perpetually expand and just have them keep adding new arenas and Pokemon to play as and things like that. Um, it would almost be kind of a never-ending game, to be honest. So we'll see what happens with this. Um, it would be really cool if it like actually took off and has a big player base that continues to play it for a while. Um, what a cool idea, dude. Like, I never thought of them tapping into this genre with Pokemon before, but I it looks sick. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think of it, too. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, are you interested in getting it? Doesn't look interesting at all. Um, just let me know what you think of it. I think it's really cool. I'll probably get it. Um, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I look forward to chatting with people about this game. Thanks, guys.